Is this Beavis and Butthead graded game worth $5,000? Let's talk about it. Welcome back everyone to Twisted Gaming TV. Today's video we're going to talk about some graded games that I just received back from Water Games. Okay, I sent these in last August okay, of last year, 2021. Now, I paid to get them graded and they should have been back 45 days. Well, it took 8 months, which is ridiculous. Crazy. Now, for the people that's watching this video, not many people agree, agree with great video games because it screws up the market. Hey, I'm here with you, but let's talk about it, okay? So a few years ago, I've been getting games graded um, just because I, I wanted them graded and put on a shelf, and that was it, right? And I was going to keep them, right? Well, then the market got really stupid. And, and games got really expensive, right? And even graded games just got retarded. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about this Beavis and Butthead, which is shocking because I've had it for a while, uh, probably about four years, and, and, you know, kept it sealed or whatever because I'm a sealed collector, right? Well, I was going on eBay one day, and then I saw some listed that were graded, and I was like, Wow, maybe I need to get that graded because, um, you know, now, now, now keep in mind the picture I'm showing you right now. These Beavis and Butthead's been on here for a few months, okay? Uh, we got a Beavis and Butthead 9.0 A+. Somebody's asking for $2,700, right? Then there's another one that's a 9.0 A+, the same grade as the one I just talked about, for $5,000, right? With 17 watchers. And then we have another one that's graded, that's a 5.0, which is a low grade, right? And they're asking $1,000. <clears> well, this grade is um, above all of them. This is a 9.6A+. Now, this other screen I'm going to show you is the pop report at WADA Games of games that's been graded, how many have been graded, and what grades they are. Now, on the Beavis and Butthead... There's one that's been graded that's 9.8 that's higher than this, right? And then you see over at the 9.6, there's two Beavis and Buttheads been graded, which this is one of those two, right? So, <clears throat> would this sell for $5,000? The funny thing is about we don't know until you list it, okay? Now, the funny thing is... Uh, I had a graded uh, Twisted Metal Black, right, for years, and it was a high one. It was a 9.8 A+, correct? And I didn't think anything of it, you know, but then I saw one go for like two grand on there, and it was a lower grade than the 9.8. So I was like, let's play a game, right? So I listed it like four or five months ago, I think, maybe six months uh, on eBay, I got an offer, okay, for $4,000 for Twisted Metal Black graded game. Is that a stupid price or what? I think so. Would I buy any of these games for this kind of money? No. But there are people out there that will because they're nuts. They're crazy, right? Do I agree on all these crazy prices of these graded games? No, I don't. But I will dip my toes in it. For anybody that's going to pay that, because uh, that Twisted Metal Black that I sold for four grand, some of that money paid for this NBA Jam Arcade over here. Just like that. A turd video game, graded video game that you ain't going to do nothing of, with, but put it on a shelf, bought me an original arcade NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Now that, my friend right there, is good business. Okay? If you're going to find somebody goofy enough to pay that so since this is a high grade right and these on ebay are way lower than this because a 9.0 is 
way lower than 9.6, way lower. So am I gonna sell this? I don't know. You know, I, I don't need the money, I don't care. But um, the only other reason that I sold graded games before because goofy people were paying that crazy price, right? So I could buy arcade machines and other collectibles and stuff that I, I really want to have in a game sit on a shelf and collect dust you just look at. You know, years ago, if you've seen my previous videos, I sold a, um, a 9.6 A++ Killer Instinct Gold sealed copy for $6,000. And I only had $250 in it with the grade into that. Six grand, right? Six grand. And then other games, I had my collection because everybody knows I'm a super, super hardcore Rockstar Games collector, right? I sold the G two GTA 3s. Um, I want to say for both of them, I sold for about six grand, right? And then a Vice City, I had two of those combined. I sold for probably four grand. And then a San Andreas, I sold for like 3000 And another lower grade of that, I sold for about 1700 All in all, last year in one month, on about six or seven graded games, I sold for $30,000. $30,000. When I probably only had a grand on all of them, so I made like a $29,000 profit. So is the whole water thing stupid? It is. But smart people like myself will take advantage of that shit, right? Now, the people that are buying the games for that much are out of their minds, and, and that's just the way it is, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, it's only business, baby. <laughs> um, so this is a, a Beavis and Butthead 9.6 A+. Very high grade. There's only one more of them it has this grade which I don't know if it would be an A plus or not but it is a 9.6 on the other one and there's one 9.8 so let's unbox these other graded games because some of them are sweet and we'll go over how much I think I could sell them for if I wanted to so the first game we're gonna check out is this one now the crazy thing is not even a graded copy of this, but a sealed copy of this sold for $500, okay, a few months ago. And it wasn't even graded, okay? And when you grade a game, they usually shoot up stupid amount of money for whatever reason, I don't know. But this is Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. This is a 9.4 A+, okay? It's very cool. Very cool game, very popular game. It was a very great Gran Turismo game, okay? How much I could probably sell this for if I really wanted to, I could probably at least get $1,500 minimum for this. And, I, and before I bought it, uh, I, I paid $60 just for the game. And then, you know, 100 bucks to grade it. So I have 160 $160 in that game, right? And I could sell it for probably $1,500, maybe more. Who knows? You never know how much the, the graded games will sell until you list them. You'd be very surprised because the games I sold for $30,000, I was very surprised. I told my mom, are these people crazy or something? I mean, it's pretty wild, right? I don't know. But would you do that? Uh, of course you would. I mean, come on. Give me a break. You know? Now, the next one is another Grand Theft Auto, thank God, because I, I didn't have this one for a while. Um, of course, all my Grand Theft Auto uh, games, I got multiple, multiple copies of them. Uh, most of them are sealed. Most of them are not. Uh, this one is Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. This one got a super grade, a 9.8 A+. Okay? Very beautiful. And at the time I bought this, probably bought it for $70 sealed, right? That's ungraded. Now, these years when they were making the games, it didn't have the, the uh, silver security strip. But this is a first print because uh, they stopped doing that, I think, in 2004 or 2005. 
and this game was made in 2007 so that's why you don't see that there how much i could sell this for most likely a minimum a thousand dollars but probably could get more if i wanted and like i said i have 75 dollars in it you know what i'm saying it's 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 re, it retarded the next game Ooh, this is a nice game now these are pretty hard to find sealed steel um i haven't seen many on ebay in a while but soul caliber 2 this got a super grade 2 a 9.6 a plus look at that 9.6 a plus very nice namco great fighting game i've always loved the soul caliber game soul caliber 2 was a very nice game it was very nice now that one again you know just you never like i said you never know how much they could sell for um but i would say i could probably get a minimum eight hundred dollars maybe more but a minimum of probably eight hundred dollars you know how much i bought that sealed game back a few years ago 50 bucks <laughs> it's crazy ain't it but the the whole thing is you got to find the buyer you know whatever amount somebody pays for something now you could get a great game graded and think it's nice and stuff put it on ebay and lose money you know what i mean if you have an auction i don't ever do the auctions i have a a, a offer deal and then if somebody sends you an offer then whip did you do you know um but that's how i do that but yeah probably at least eight hundred dollars maybe more for that the last game this one's cool. Now, this is my third copy of this game that I've had graded. Um, I have a, 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 I sold one, and believe it or not, I sold it for $1,400, and I probably had $80 in it at the time, right? Um, now, I have a super graded one that's a 9.8 A+. Plus. It's, a, it's almost perfect, right? Well, this one's a little lower than that. Uh, this one's a 9.6 B+, plus, The Warriors. So this is my third sealed copy graded of this. And this is the mid, because I think the one I sold was like a 9.6, and it was like an A or A+. Plus. And my high grade one I got in the case over there is a 9.8 A+. Plus. But this is a 9.6 B+. Plus. Now this right here, I could probably sell for a thousand dollars easy and i only have eighty dollars in it so the graded game things is, is it's pretty wild um the only good thing about graded games is if you want to get them graded because you're just curious right of what somebody else thinks of your grade on your game um it's good to put on a shelf display your favorite game you can display and it's beautiful right now you are your friends and talk about it and all that garbage right or the other thing is to get certain games graded to make a profit now a lot of people don't agree with that i don't agree with that either but temptation's a mother right i'm just being honest with you i'm not a freaking turd or anything i'm just being honest with you you know why have this on a shelf okay if somebody was to offer you fifteen to two thousand dollars for a game that cost you pretty much nothing, eighty bucks or something, you know what I mean? It's pretty wild. Um, now, how have the graded games came down in value a little bit after the the Wada games bubble burst? Um, a little bit, but uh, you can still get lucky and stuff. Now, this next picture I want to show you of a crazy game that's not even graded what's sold on ebay okay marvel versus capcom for the playstation one it's a sealed copy right you know how much that thing sold for five thousand dollars for a sealed copy of marvel versus capcom and it's not even graded now you put a grade on that crazy thing Dude, that thing might sell for ten to fifteen thousand dollars. I see crazy graded games being sold 
all the time for crazy money. It's crazy money. Then again, would I buy that Marvel vs. Capcom sealed copy for $5,000? Hell no. But would I sell it for that? Hell yes. Does it make me less than a lesser person? No, not really. Because it ain't my fault. It's just all business, right? But it is crazy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching Twisted Gaming TV. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Always comment back. Till next video, peace.